South Korean company Hyundai Rotom has put forward a proposal to develop a new 8x8 fire support vehicle in Poland. This innovative vehicle will be based on the chassis of the newly designed N-Wave, next-generation wheeled armored vehicle. A key feature of this proposed vehicle is the integration of an Italian Leonardo hit fact 2 Malawi and Quacha's turret, which can be equipped with either a 105 or 120 mm cannon, showcasing a blend of South Korean and Italian defense technology. A wheeled armored vehicle equipped with a 105 or 120 mm cannon is a significant asset in modern warfare, primarily due to its blend of firepower and mobility. The presence of wheels, as opposed to tracks, endows these vehicles with superior on-road speed and a longer operational range. This makes them particularly effective in scenarios that require rapid deployment and redeployment, allowing forces to respond quickly to evolving battlefield situations. The firepower provided by a 105 or 120mm cannon makes these vehicles formidable against a range of targets. They can engage enemy armored vehicles, including tanks, with high effectiveness, especially when equipped with modern anti-tank rounds. Additionally, these cannons can be used for direct fire support roles, providing ground troops with heavy firepower against fortified positions or in urban combat scenarios. Another advantage of wheeled vehicles is their reduced maintenance requirements compared to tracked vehicles. This aspect translates into higher availability rates and lower logistical burdens, crucial factors in sustained military operations. Furthermore, the ability to travel significant distances without transporters enhances strategic and tactical flexibility. The development of a new generation fire support vehicle, which combines the South Korean NWAB wheeled chassis with the Leonardo Hit Fact 2 Malawi and Quacha's turret, marks a significant advancement in military technology. This combination promises to deliver a vehicle that not only offers a high level of protection and mobility but also boasts the firepower of a tank. This is primarily due to its capability to be equipped with either a 105 or 120mm cannon. The N-Wave has a gross vehicle mass of less than 35 tons and is powered by a 700 horsepower engine. This setup results in an efficient power-to-weight ratio of 20 horsepower per ton. The vehicle is equipped with double wishbone-type independent suspensions, which include spring coils and dampers for enhanced stability and maneuverability. Additionally, the 700 horsepower engine is paired with an automatic transmission system that offers seven forward gears and one reverse gear, facilitating smooth and responsive vehicle control. The Leonardo Hit Fact 2 Malawi and Quacha's turret, a key component of this new vehicle, is not new to the battlefield. It is already in service with the Italian Army, mounted on the Centauro 2 vehicle. This weapon system is renowned for its firepower which is comparable to that of most modern main battle tanks. It is capable of firing the latest generations of 120mm NATO APFSDS and multi-role MP munitions, making it a formidable force in combat. The HitFact MKI, which is NATO qualified and currently in production, represents the latest in military technology in terms of firepower, connectivity, and survivability. As the newest model in the HitFact family, with over 500 units already in service worldwide, the MKI distinguishes itself with its fully digital optronic sensor suite, enhanced survivability features, and electric turret drives. These advancements ensure high levels of safety and performance. One of the most notable features of the turret is its flexible design, which allows integration with either 105-52mm rifled or 120-45mm smoothbore low recoil force guns. This flexibility enables the use of any NATO standard ammunition, including the latest kinetic energy and multipurpose rounds. The turret can also be customized based on user requirements, with options for integration with command and control systems, navigation, and net center communications. These additions are aimed at enhancing situational awareness. The armored vehicle fitted with the HitFact turret has a crew of two or three personnel, depending on user requirements, and includes an automatic ammunition loading system. The main armament options include a 120-45mm or a 105-52mm cannon, 
complemented by auxiliary armament choices such as a 1x7.62mm coaxial machine gun, a remote weapon station hitro, and options for an external 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun. Additionally, the vehicle is equipped with smoke grenade launchers featuring eight dischargers. In terms of ammunition, the vehicle is compatible with all standard NATO munitions as per Stanag 4385 and Stanag 4458. It also features an anti-blast ammunition compartment, separate from the crew area, with both manual and automatic loading systems.